Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate our first script in the Cypress and in this tutorial, we will be automating the login feature. So let's begin. Real, we will be using this orange HRM demo website and this is the URL. Let's copy this one from here and go to the browser and in browser, let's paste this URL and here it will land us to the orange hrm the main page and you can see this is a login page and it contains the username and password so we need to provide this username and password in order to login into this application successfully so let's try this manually first admin then admin one two three click on the login and see what happens so it's logged in us successfully and that's great this logged it out now go to the visual studio code and here we would be creating one file here so let me right click on this one click on file and it's our first script so i'm naming it as first dot js so the first thing uh, which we need to do is that we need some intelligence like for example if i'm writing some code i need some help to complete my code so this kind of intelligence is not by default in cypress what we need to do is that we need to write something here which is triple forward slash then reference then types equals to cypress and we need to close this bracket here and that's it so the first thing you have to do this now we are good to go with writing our script and we know that our test suit is basically written against the describe and our test cases will be written against the it block so first i will write the describe block and this is their body here and against this body here the first thing is that we need to tell what this suit will all about so here we will be automating the login functionality so this means that we are testing the login functionality so i am naming it as validate login functionality okay and after that i need to use a function error function and then here is body right and once we will done with this thing now we need to write our test cases so there can be multiple test cases in order to test the login functionality for example the first test case can be that users should be able to log in successfully by providing the correct username and password then correct username wrong password wrong password correct username you can uh, go with the blanks you go with the caps so there are multiple test cases which can be written in order to test the login functionality so i will go with it block here and here let's say that validate login with valid credentials so this is a very basic test case we are writing here now and again this is a body of it and in a similar way what we need to do is that we need to use the arrow function and here are the curly braces for this one now we are good to go with this one the first thing uh, now as a tester we need to open the website so how we can do that that's really simple so we need to type cy dot visit and against this visit we need to provide a url of the application which we really want to visit okay and here now uh, let's go back here and copy this application url from here and now go back again here and provide the url so this is the first step we need to do now let me save this one and my test runner is already open let me go here and you will see 
that we have this first.js here. Just click on this one and it will start executing our test. So it will open this website, which is Orange HRM Live Demo. And let's see if it's working fine or not. And it's loading here in Cypress. And yes, the page has been opened successfully with the Cypress script. Now, what we need to do, we need to provide the username here. We need to provide the password here. And then we need to click on this login button. Cypress is very robust, very user friendly, and you can easily create the scripts and very fastly you can create those scripts. So simply first thing, just click on this one so that we can identify these fields. Just click on this field. If you see this one, this means that it has uniquely identified this field. Copy from here, go back to the Visual Studio code here. And after opening here, just paste this one. So dot get is basically used to identify the element. So once this element will be identified, then what we need to do, we need to provide the username and that's how you can do. You can use this type word and then simply you need to provide the whatever this to you want to provide. That's really simple in a similar way. And uh, let's go to the open here browser and now let me select this password field let me copy this one from here and go to Visual studio code simply paste this one and dot again we need to type so this is very user friendly and we need to provide admin one two three so we are good to go with this one the final thing we need to do is that we need to click on the button login button so for that let me go here click on this one it provide me a unique locator here let me copy this one go back here and now let's provide this one now simply we have identified the button but we need to do we need to click on this one simply type click and that's it and the good thing about Cypress is that as soon as I save this code, it will automatically start the execution. So let me save this one and you will see that it will start the execution. It will go to the browser. It will provide the username and password and click on the login button and it should take us to the login page. So that's how we can write a very, very basic script in the cypress thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial